So, hi guys, this is uh, Dear Chameleon speaking, the guy behind Peppermint, and I'm your host here today, and I'm going to show you a bit around Peppermint, and uh, especially show you how you can create a markdown document with some test content in it, preview it, change themes, and finally compile it to, vial, to valid HTML code. So, uh, it's uh, my first video tutorial of any kind ever, so I guess you have to be a bit easy on me. Uh, so, let's get started. And uh, as you can see, we have opened PubMint with a testmd document, MD standing for uh, Markdown. And uh, let's start writing some content. Ah, oh, by the way, we actually don't need the panel, so why not double click it and make it vanish. Now, uh, let's create our title. This is our title. Well, and this is a typo. And let's make it the main header of our page. Now, uh, as you can see, syntax highlighting is working fine uh, with the main header here with the equal signs in a row working fine and being highlighted in orange in the default peppermint theme. Uh, but what we also need is to preview it and I mean see how it looks in uh, in the web page. So if you go here to the little settings or plugins menu with a little cog icon, uh, you can see uh, a preview option which lets us see the actual document in the utility view on your right. We have the live preview which we'll show later, and uh, the compile option. Those are the global plugins, so we won't have to deal with them right now. So let's click preview and see what our little markdown document looks like. And this is what it looks like. Um, if you don't like the theme, you know, this bluish color here for the header, there are several themes to choose from, like uh, journal or like superhero. This one's a little bit odd, <laughs> I admit that, but I guess it's a matter of taste. So let's uh, move on and add another header to our Markdown document, a secondary header this time, like uh, this is our secondary header, and mark it appropriately. As you can see, uh, the preview here stays the same, because simply this is not a live preview. Uh, what if we go to the live preview setting and click here and continue writing our document and uh, this is some text. As you can see, the preview here gets updated automatically. So that's a great way of seeing what you're actually doing, like in the web page. Now, uh, we can add a few more map down things like uh, probably add a list, like list item 1, list item 2, and another list item, list item 3, which looks fine. Now, what if we want to add uh, a link? Links work too, so we open the brackets, uh, add our link text here, like uh, go here, and where do we want to send our visitors? We want to send them to the website of an awesome editor called Peppermint. So when the user clicks here, he will be directed to the web page of Osex Peppermint. That's fine. Now, what if we want to add an image? Images are easy too. Um, let's add some, uh, you know, alt text here, like uh, this is my image. Not very descriptive, but whatever. And here we're gonna add the actual link of the image and the image appears just fine you can see here so this was a basic walkthrough of the markdown editor and the associated plugins you know preview and live preview now what if we want the actual html uh, produced by this markdown document that's easy as well now if we click compile here you will see uh, another document being created we had testmd, this one is testmd.html, this is the HTML content of our current markdown document. So let's go straight ahead and see it, and here it is. As you can see, 
Uh, there are no uh, head or body sections, but uh, this is, uh, you know, in order to provide with cleaner code. I promise you there will be a plugin for uh, a complete HTML document, but for now this is what you get. So I hope you enjoyed this little work through our uh, Markdown syntax highlighting the plugins and preview, and I guess I'll see you around. Bye-bye.